A heart attack and a cardiac arrest are not the same thing. Let me explain. Hi, I'm Chelsea, the palliative PA, and this is a comment that I got on my video about CPR's mortality rate the other day, and I felt like it's important to bring up and explain that a heart attack and a cardiac arrest are not the same thing. So you're right, a heart attack is way more survivable than a cardiac arrest. A heart attack is your heart's way of saying something is very wrong, and if you don't do something soon, I'm going to stop and you could die. A heart attack is usually a strain on the heart because of a blockage in the heart. So part of the heart isn't getting enough blood and therefore you get chest pain. And then your blood work shows that you're having a heart attack and your EKG shows changes consistent with a heart attack. And there is time to do things a lot of times when it comes to a heart attack. A cardiac arrest is completely different. A cardiac arrest means your heart has stopped. It is not going to warn you. It is not going to give you time to do something. It is literally stopped and you have died. CPR is trying to bring someone back who has died. A heart attack is typically someone who is still living. So this is why it's so important. Some people will say, well, I don't wanna be a DNR. If I have a heart attack, I want you to do something. Well, a DNR really has nothing to do with a heart attack unless the heart attack actually le leads to your heart stopping. And therefore a DNR does not say, do not treat if I have a heart attack. I always tell my patients, even if you are a DNR, meaning if my heart stops, do nothing and let me die a natural death. That doesn't mean that if you show up in the ER with a heart attack, we do nothing. That just means if your heart stops and you have died, we do nothing and we let you die. Important to clarify this one, you guys.